oh yes uh let's take a quick look at uh, this one um i'm going to try to be out some more speed because uh i have a lot to explain on this one yes uh i'm going to play it the extended dreadlock so i'm by name of maurice the christian master and uh i see how we are playing the extended dreadlocks i told you like uh, uh extended dreads it's different from other dreads uh, because this is too too soft yeah in fact it is very soft it's even more soft uh, than the like, more than you, think. Think. So, um, than you think. so um i i i lock it in um, that way and here it's very very important though my client had uh, uh, her hair was not that good but i'm going to try to make it uh, I use the gel, you see. I use the gel. That one helped me to collect all the hair together so that I can lock them. So <clears throat> I keep on doing them like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, on this one, this is very, very important. Very important. So uh, people say that dreadlocks are painful, but it's just because uh, sometimes uh, people who look the f at the beginning like this, this way that I'm doing, they look up to the end place. I want to advise like whenever you're trying to look at the first place, like the way I'm looking now, you see, I look once. Try to leave that space. Try to leave that space so that when you put the extension, it's not going to be very painful. So when you look up to the, uh, the skin, uh, the scalp, it's not good at all. So please try to leave that uh, that space uh, so that uh, when you pull the extension, you're going to lock it and then it will be firm and it won't pain at all. So that's why people keep saying that dreads that 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 painful but they never be painful at all so with extended dreads this is how i keep on locking them and i told you that we have an academy here so uh, you can come and you learn this uh, life <laughs> yes but um uh i do work with my team here like uh, uh, I, I be putting i, I can read it at the first and they be finishing uh, the braiding down so this is how i keep on doing the dreads and uh, i told you like uh, please don't lock it up to the skin and another thing here is please whenever you're trying to lock your dreads you see you see try to make your dread like try to arrange your dreads very very nice like in a box format or any shape you can choose but try to follow that step because it gives you good results whenever you're doing it so it's not good like uh, just to cut and you lock you lock no try to arrange them in a good way so i told you when uh, the extended dreads i played it the other side this side the other side you see how i do and this side the other side just like that so um this is what that makes it look uh, very soft because i use uh, the hair so you can even apply it yourself on these dreads so this is the locking i just lock once just like that so you can't feel pain at all you cannot so and um, after i lock down because uh, just like this uh, this one helped me when i'm going to um when i'm going to repair is the the the, the, the it's where i use yes it's where you so that i can pray my dread so i keep on locking uh, so i think uh, my uh, my uh my the colleagues are going to help me because uh, i can do this myself alone it takes like if i do it myself it can take me like uh, eight hours and that's a lot for my client to sit down so <laughs> i just have uh, my colleagues and they're also good because we learn together uh they are they help me out uh, yes they help me out so this is how we keep on doing the extended dreads and i'm telling you they are very very soft as you can see they are very soft so i want you to follow me and you see how we keep on doing the extended dreads. you see how i want my puff tree that's what i always do i get the middle across uh, i'm getting my middle line like that 
just in the center so i lock it first so that it can give me uh, the how i'm going to be how it's going to to look like the path because that's where i always hold the path so it's what i use and after when i'm done uh, i just know that all my my um my locks are going to stop there so this is how we keep on doing and uh, this is as my colleague you see how she's trying to lock and now she had done a mistake i just want to collect her you're supposed to do it this way not straight yes that way just like that because when you do it straight it's not good mm, it's not good the, the way it makes uh your looking to look so yeah for that one she knows she's good and that one. so that's how we keep on learning uh so you see yes <laughs> we're done with this one so i like it very very much you can see how flexible it is it is very very flexible very flexible uh here you can see they're not on the same line this is why uh, i can explain that one it's um they can't be on the same you can do them on the same line but at times when they're on the same line and you try to hold a path some some will they won't be neat yes they won't be neat when holding a path so they just have to follow the steps but that when you hold a path they all be equal so you see how they are you see very soft very very soft i'm telling you so keep loving hair zipper uh, let's keep on subscribing so that we get to learn all this and by the names of morris the crochet master and i sign out see you on the next video i love you so much god bless